Greetings fellow pilgrims, I'm Doug, this is Camino 2020, and today I want to talk to you about the Columbia Silver Ridge Convertible Pants. As I was doing my research for my hike on the Camino, I noticed that you know one of the things that is going to be very important is utility, double use, basically just like a long-term backpacking trip, I don't want to bring anything I don't have to. And one of the greatest hiking inventions around out there are convertible pants. And essentially what they are is a set of long pants that zip in the middle and remove the legs at about the short level. So the point of these is not so much that you can very rapidly convert your pants into shorts. That's kind of even how they're advertised. But something to keep in mind is that these are regular pant legs. They still don't go over shoes or boots very well. And so if you're envisioning in your mind walking down the trail, oh hey, I'm kind of hot, hold on a sec, zip, zip, boom. No, not really gonna happen. The parts of the legs that are left, once you unzip them, are still gonna have to be removed. You're probably still gonna have to take your shoes or boots off. However, it's still better than having to do a full change on the trail. One of the biggest selling points for me of a convertible pant is that by having one piece of clothing, I've really got two. I don't have to carry long pants and shorts, which doubles up all the material from here up. In this case, I can just take these out and decide whether I want them to be long pants or shorts. And even though most of the time, I probably will be hiking in shorts. Once I get into town, sun goes down, it gets cooler. Maybe there's some places along the Camino that I wanna go, like a church, or maybe even a decent restaurant once in a while. I'm not gonna be able to go in there wearing shorts. They're gonna want me to have pants on. So having a long pair of pants on the Camino is definitely a good idea. And essentially they work about the way you would probably imagine. If you've never tried a pair of pants like this, I've got the tab out here, but this tucks into this little flap. But essentially, you've got the pants, and when you're ready to convert them, you just flip this over, get you to the zipper, and it's actually easier to do when they're on. Off they come. Okay, so there it is. This leftover piece of material is pretty lightweight. Just fold it up, ball it up, stick it in your pocket, and boom, you've got a pair of shorts. So this kind of gives you an idea of length. Okay, when you're ready to put the legs back on, you look at this little tab on the zipper. This one's got an L on it, so this is my left leg. Follow the seam down, that's where the zipper starts. And I've never really had too much problem with these. The zipper's pretty tiny, um, and the material is fairly loose by design. I've never really had too much trouble with it. The one thing you gotta watch out for is if you're trying to do this while you're wearing it, getting it around the back and making sure the material doesn't bunch up isn't always easy. So there you go, no big deal. Flop it down and voila, whoop, back to pants. The Silver Ridge have two rear pockets, Velcro enclosures, two front pockets, mesh, all the way through. All the pockets, if you can see inside here, are mesh, so lightweight, breathable. There's also thigh pockets, one Velcro, and one that's a bit more secure, which is nice, with a zipper. So you've got kind of the cargo shorts look and feel going on here. Uh, these are extremely lightweight. Uh, these with the legs weigh in at about 300 grams. And I'm using that kind of precision because of something I'm gonna tell you in a minute. Um, but, you know, they're, they're about as lightweight as you can get without being see-through. These particular pants are made of 100% nylon in the shell, and then the lining, it says, is polyester, about half and half recycled. These pants have been great. I've taken them on tons of trails. I've never had a problem with overheating. I've never had a problem with uh, moisture wicking. They are SPF 50. When it came time to get my second pair, I got a good deal on these. I thought, well, if I'm gonna have two of the same pants, might as well opt for a different color. Same brand, Columbia, 
their silver ridge, they've got the mesh pockets, they've got the same pockets, Velcro here, zipper here, legs come off, what could go wrong? I have not performed well on hikes in these pants. I didn't even notice the correlation at first, but as I started to reflect on some of the problems that I had with certain hikes, I realized that all of my problems with overheating, all of my problems with chafing, as I looked back through my hikes, I realized that all of them were in these pants. Most recently, this happened on my trip to Clouds Rest. I was doing fine all day, but on the way out, about the last hour, it was miserable. I was just hot, sweaty, um, but this is not something that I ever noticed with the same exact model pants in the other colors. So I took a little closer look, and I noticed that on these, a couple things were different. The exterior, 95% polyester, 5% elastinine. So as it turns out, these pants are actually a very different material. And there is quite a bit of difference. There's actually a grid pattern that you can see in these that doesn't really show up as well here. The feel is completely different. These are soft, but they're kind of rough, kind of like, kind of like a Kleenex. You know, you can feel some texture even though they're soft and comfortable. These, slippery. Now, I got on Columbia's website and I did see that they do make a distinction between a stretch version of the Silver Ridge and just the regular Silver Ridge. And when I looked at the materials, it turns out that sure enough, these appear to be a stretch version of the pants. To be perfectly honest, there is not really anything terribly stretchy about these. <laughs> um, I, I don't feel much of a difference here. And I think that the problem I'm having is that the polyester, I just think it's a lot hotter, or at least a lot less breathable. All the hikes that I have had in these pants, I've never had a single problem. Never had a problem with heat, sweat, anything. Even when I have rain pants over these. These bad boys have given me trouble on all three hikes that I've hiked in them. Every time I wear these, I'm getting too much heat, too much sweat, and I'm chafing. Another thing about these is that they're 30 grams heavier. So the material makes a big difference in these pants. So fair warning, if you are considering the Columbia Silver Ridge convertible pants, and I would strongly recommend that you do, they're fantastic. But keep in mind that apparently the stretch version is a completely, really a completely different kind of pants than the non-stretch version. So I would go on Columbia's website, I would look very carefully at the makeup of the materials. For me, the nylon is great, polyester, not so much. All right, I hope this video has been informative to you. If it has, please give it a thumbs up, like that video, and then subscribe to the channel. Click the bell when you do so that I can send you updates of future videos. And until next time, buen camino.